The title of this passage is Garbage Army Keeps City Centre Clean and it's read at 110 words per minute. Ready? I have to tell you that there are certain times when you cannot see the high street or the pavements at the side of it. They are covered with drink cans, chip paper and broken glass amongst other things. At about five in the morning a team of slow moving men come in with their green machines to sweep up all the debris of the night before. The lawbreakers who lined the streets with litter have by then arrived home and crept into their beds. At 7am the second wave of the garbage army join in with their brushes and litter pickers. By the time people arrive for work at 9am the litter has been cleared away until 5 o'clock the next morning. This goes on for most of the year and is one of the problems of a city which has 50,000 students, many nightclubs and plenty of fast food outlets. There was a time when the city's garbage army did not work on Saturdays but now there is so much paper packaging that a team of 18 litter pickers has to work every day except Christmas Day to keep the city centre clean. I am very pleased to say that the efforts of the garbage army are paying off because the city centre has now been placed well above the national average for cleanliness but it is a constant battle that is getting tougher. There will now be an interval of 30 seconds. Ready? The battle is not only tougher for the cleaners but also for the little outs. Litter dropping will now be met with an on the spot fine of £50. When the litter out is seen by an accredited official, some of whom are in plain clothes, if the fine is not paid, court action will be taken and fines of up to £300 will be levied. Of course, students are not the only culprits and recently a man received a fine of £150 with £50 costs when his case was taken to court. He had been spotted dumping carpet offcuts onto a pile of rubbish on a lane near his home. There will now be an interval of 15 seconds. In this third passage, students are asked to pick out a quote. 15 seconds. Ready? Two other people did not attend court and were fined in their absence. One of them dropped a wrapper from his cigarette packet when he was spotted by a warden. A woman discarded a piece of paper 
used to wipe her mouth after eating fish and chips. Both of them were given a £50 fine, but because they did not pay, they then received £100 with £50 costs. I would like to make this point. I have no sympathy with these litter louts and dropping litter is no longer an option. In fact, I think the fines should be even higher than they currently are. That is all I have to say on the matter. And that is the end of dictation at 110 words per minute.